And I hardly believe that the investigation will end. I don't know how they are going to round this up, how they are going to end this case. Two years has already passed and we still have no um, response or no one has answered from the prosecutor's office that what has happened. Of course, we know what has happened, but uh, officially we haven't received any response from chief prosecutors of Georgia. We need facts. We need confirmations. We need questions, uh, answers to our questions uh, from the chief prosecutor's office. Unless we uh, get these answers from them, so this struggle will not end. If they start uh, talking, a lot of questions will be addressed to them and they won't be able to uh, respond to these questions. And you know, uh, this is a politi policy, political power, and they want to, to be on the government maybe during the next elections as well. And they are trying to um, talk less about these uh, issues. And the thing that I know is that the high state politicians from Georgian government, especially from the representatives of Georgian Dream Party, were involved in this abduction operation because they had direct, the, the kidnappers had direct access to these people, Georgian uh, ones, uh, who was controlling this operation. That Afghan said that they were reporting, the kidnappers were reporting someone uh, on, on over the phone uh, about what, about their plans, that for how they, uh, what, what they were doing how the operation was going on. Arrest is, the only, is not the only pun punishment for activists and journalists in Azerbaijan. In prison, they try even, yes, to ignore medical assistance to them, even access to his friends, even access to the letters. Uh, for instance, till today, Afghan uh, couldn't receive uh, even the birthday cards that we had and his uh, friends from different EU countries sent him. He hasn't received it. Most probably, when he gets released, he will try to reunite here in Germany, in Germany because, uh, you know, there is no guarantee to the security of journalists in Azerbaijan. That's why I don't think that um, I can return back to Azerbaijan. Because there is no guarantee, there is no rule of law in Azerbaijan. And that's why, uh, and you know, on the other hand, uh, also because of the child, Nurai was talking Georgian and Russian when she was in, uh, uh, she was living in Georgia. Later, I took her to Germany, and she, now she is speaking English and uh, Germany. Just imagine that again, she goes back to Azerbaijan or to the other countries, and it turns uh, the life of the little one into a hell as well. And that's why I think just to live here. But I don't know in future, maybe uh, when government change, when there is a serious change in Azerbaijan, I can return back to us, to my country, of course. <laughs> it's also my wish, my land, my relatives, my family lives there.